Hi, welcome back to Being Crazy Custom Creations. Today, um, I wasn't able to get my granddaughters to draw a name to name the sugar skull. So I got my cousin Jeannie, and the names are in the skull, and I'm gonna let her draw, and whatever she draws, that's what we're that's what we're naming the sugar skull. So here we go. Everybody's is in there. Reach in and draw one. Okay, here we go. Let's see what let's see what this sugar skull's name is gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be Daisy the Sugar Skull. That's the name of the sugar skull now. Daisy the Sugar Skull. And everyone who offered up a name, I'm going to write your names down, and you'll be the first names to go in the Sugar Skull. Okay, so what we're going to do today, um, keeping with the Halloween theme, we have lots of Halloween molds that we're going to work on today. Um, I have... I have a skull that I started that's already partially poured. Probably needs another two ounces, so I'm going to finish it off. Then I have this one that I colored with Let's Resin's Chameleon Powders. And that's what he looks like. So we're going to turn him inside out without hopefully getting too much of it off. And we're going to pour that one today. It's one of them. The next one I have is another new one I got. And it is a sugar skull. It's a skeleton with the top of its head has roses around the top and I have colored those with also with the chameleon powders from Lutz Resin. So we're going to pour that one today. This one here I know you've probably seen because I made one of these for Wanda. It is a skull with a bunch of little skeleton heads and we're going to pour this one today also. We're trying to keep with the Halloween theme here. We have the two little ghosts. And I don't know, that light's pretty bright. I don't know if you can see them. The two little ghosts. I don't know if you've seen these. Uh, I know Miss Wanda has them. We're going to pour those. Now... This is some sort of <clears throat> skeleton totem pole. It's one that Miss Jeannie got me. So we're going to pour it today. And <laughs> here's another skeleton of some sort. And I don't know, that light seems to be so bright. Let me get you down so maybe you can see it better. I don't know exactly what an alien skeleton. Uh, uh, I, I don't I, remember what I bought. It's a little skeleton guy. We're going to pour it too. Keep him with the Halloween theme. Now, you've seen the ones that I colored that I used the um, Let's Resin Chameleon powders on. But when we pour these, I'm going to use... SolarDust.com's Glowstones and SolarDust.com Invisible White Glow Powder. That's what we're going to pour them all in and just see how it turns out. So we might even throw some Unicorn Art um, Crushed Crystals in there too. I don't know yet. We might. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here for a few minutes and get my epoxy mixed up. 
and always wear your mask and that's what we're going to do we're going to mix the epoxy and get ready to put in our pigments and pour <clears throat> so bear with us we'll be back all right we're back um i mixed up four cups of um let's resin one to one epoxy 40 minute working time <clears throat> And here's what these little gemstones look like. They're kind of hard to see, really. I can't, I guess my light is, there you go. Blue in the dark stones. So, we're gonna put some of those in there. I don't know how many, I'm just gonna kinda scoop some in. Since most of the stuff we're going to do is glow in the dark, I might put several scoops in. Alright. They kind of all sunk to the bottom. That's okay. And then we're going to use Invisible White Solar Dust Glow in the Dark. And I'm going to put quite a few of those in. At least my bubbles are rising here. And I don't know. We might throw in some. We're going to throw in some crushed crystals, I think, too. Just for the heck of it. Just because I think they're pretty. So we're going to throw some in. Press crystals. Wow, they are pretty. They are pretty. <clears throat> Let's throw in a couple scoops of that. Couple heaping scoops. Okay, and give it a stir around. Come on, my sticks are already coated here. Wow, it's like <laughs> stirring around little rocks in the bottom there. <laughs> I hope they glow good. Trying not to whip too many bubbles in here. But I gotta make sure I get that glow in the dark powder mixed up good. Just kind of turning it like a milky white from the white glow in the dark powder. Alright, so let's um. When I get it mixed for sure, let's start with the one that I already got poured and finish it off. Let's finish that one off first. I got it all kind of hard to tell. Ooh, didn't get all that mixed up, did I? Oops. <clears throat> really? It went flaking everywhere. Yeah. 
Oh well. Mats need to be cleaned anyway. I got all that powder mixed up. It's kind of hard to tell, really. Alright. We're going to start with the one I need to finish off. Start by... Or Nick need to mix. You might want to, whoops, move the ones that we're going to do forward so we can slide it back there. So slide it over there maybe without spilling it. slide this one over there on the mat out of the way maybe hopefully without spilling it we might slide that one forward because we might need that okay so the next one I'm gonna pour is the one that has all the roses in the top to run down the part of the picture there and I don't want it to. Yeah. Alright, what I'm going to do is try and give this a little bounce and squish because a little squidgy widgy as Steve McDonald would say because of the roses in the bottom I like for the bubbles to rise and I don't want to have any bubbles in the roses All right, and I think before I go any further <clears throat> I squirt some alcohol in there Pebbles quite that level. Should have brought my leveling table over board over here, so we're gonna slide this one over there, hopefully without spilling it. And on these ghosties, I think I'm going to, before I pour it, give it a good spray inside. Man, I wish this thing would pour better. Just 
doesn't pour very well. I also think I want to stir it up a little again. Because I got all those stones and they seem to be all staying at the bottom. Maybe we should have put... Uh, I think what we're going to do, simply because I think all the stones are falling, we're just going to take this and we'll sprinkle a little in there. They're probably going to fall too, but... Because because I have all of that at the moment at the bottom of my mm. container, and I can't seem to get it to get them off the bottom. Let's move the empty ones forward and try and, oops, we may have to mix up some more epoxy. Alright, I'm going to pour a little bit in here. And Jeannie, you might get that one a little squidgy widgy just a little. Nope, that one. Just a little down towards the bottom. Make sure you ain't got... Because I did dump those stones in there. Because we want it to glow, so... Alright. <clears throat> wipe my stick off again. Squidgy widgey that one before. I just thought Steve McDonald was hilarious with his squidgy widgies. So it just kind of stuck. Squidgy widgey works for me. A little squish around, a little tap, whatever you want to call it. are all fairly deep molds so I'm hoping that they will let's do this one next this is another one that I colored with Lutz resin chameleon powder let me throw in some stones on that one too as soon as I pour some in like I said the stones seem to be, I don't know why they're all staying at the bottom, but they are. Alright. Um, let's
Wooey, it's stuck to my mat. Ah! Down the side it went. Because it was stuck to my silicone mat. Darn it. Okay, well, keeping in the tradition with Miss Wanda, <laughs> it's called a mess. <laughs> it's stuck again. Wipes out and this mess up. Okay, let's try one of the let's try the totem pole. I'm stuck oh well. Let's try that one because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. I think I'm gonna have to jump off here and mix up some more. Thought we would have enough, but I don't think we're going to. And this is <laughs> it's all at the bottom. Yeah, it's all the all the stones at the bottom there. Well, we're gonna scrape them off in there. We're going to scrape them all up in there. Get that out of my way so I don't spill it. We're going to scrape all these little stones off. Yeah. Let me give it a squidgy. Squidgy widgy first. Maybe we won't put it in there next time when we mix it. Because I didn't think it was going to do that. I don't think they'd all... I mean, I figured some would fall, but I didn't think that many would fall down in there like that. stones there. <laughs> I think the most of the bottom of it is all stones. Just see how it turns out. It's another one of those that wants to stick to the mat. Well, that one may have some air bubbles in it. Well. I know Jeannie doesn't care about air bubbles. Well, we're gonna have to mix up some more epoxy because we got two more to pour. We'll be back. All right, we're back. Um. I mixed up another four cups because I still have several items over there to pour. And if I don't, I'll I'll grab another mold. I got plenty of them. Wow. I'm thinking I'm just going to dump the rest. Save the bag because I need to know what I used. 
And the stones this time, I don't think I'm going to put them in there like I did last time. I think I'll put them in the mold. Because they all fell to the bottom anyway. And I really would rather they didn't go to the bottom. Alright, we're back. I got four cups mixed up here. Sorry, we had to take a break for a minute. Okay. We're going to pour some in this totem here. And then I'm going to drop some of those stones in there. Can't see how far I got it. Trying to get them down in there. The others ended up, <laughs> they're floating up to the top now. And I don't want them to float. Get these out of there and get them down in there. That one's stuck in a hole here. We have a little visitor. Needs a little visitor. Yeah, they dropped right down to the bottom, but I'm sure they'll end up floating back up to the top just like the others did. Okay, let's finish filling it. I'm hoping since these are fairly deep molds that they will cure pretty quickly. I'm not going to put them on the mat. I should, but I'm not going to. I made a mess here. This one's awfully wobbly. Beside it because it's wanting to wobble over. Okay, I got another skull here. And I I know you've seen this one if you've seen Wanda Channel because I poured her one. It's just got a bunch of little skull heads on it. And I did not color this one. I'm just going to pour it in what I'm doing here. As soon as I get my mess that's running down the side of my cup off here. Give me that one next. So I can just slide this one over. Maybe a little squidgy here. Get the bubbles to come up. And I'm going to give it a squirt of alcohol to help. Take this one and slide it over there where we got all our other setting to cure. 
give me a wipe and try and wipe up my mess here. Wipe up the side of the cup. What a mess. Yeah, that glitter does stick to the mat really well. This one I know you've seen before too. It's got all the turn it in so you can see it. It's the one that's got all the little decorations on the side of it. I poured one of those and sent it to Miss Wanda also. It's one of my favorite go-to's. I usually leave it on my table and pour it in. It usually gets poured in several different colors. I'm going to start by just pouring in the center. I don't know that man maybe I do want to put some in there I put it in everything else so well, let's put some stones let's put some glowstones in it too because I may be decorating my window with some of these check time Jeannie because normally these deep ones mm. I think I'm, I'm thinking six maybe six hours and they'll be ready to be taken out of the mold okay so we will see you when we're ready to pull them all out see you soon bye Hi, welcome back, y'all. We were down here, and we're going to unmold all the skulls that we did yesterday. Um, let's just get it done. This one's got some little bit of overpour. I forgot to bring my did I bring my light back down, but I didn't. I wanted to see if they were going to glow. I don't think I brought my light back down. You can go get it? Yeah, you might. Thank you. You might go get it because we want to see if they're going to glow. There's that one. That turned out really cool. I kind of like the chameleon powders. Okay. There's this one. This one's just going to be a glowing. Looks that light is just too much. I turned it a little bit. Uh, this one's going. It's going to glow in the dark because it's got some of those glow in the dark stones in it, and that's the one with all the little skulls all over it. There's those two. Let's. Pull you down a little further so you can see. Okay. Um. Let's do these. My skull that I already had half poured. I'll go ahead and peel it out. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Gotta get it started here. I have to admit those softer molds are easier to pull out than these here. These are just not as easy to pull off. I 
to get it to roll here. If I can get it out. Get the back of it rolling. It wasn't up there. Oh. That was the only thing that was up there. Oh, I thought. No, I was going to plug it up so we can see it. Then we'll have to flip the light off over there so we can flip some lights off and see if we can get them, get it to glow. Plug up this lamp here. All right, here's this one. Don't turn it off yet. Oh. Not till we're ready to. There's that one. That one turned out kind of cool. I like it that one. Okay. Let's see how this one turned out. This one was the one with the roses on the head. And it's got some overpour that needs to be gotten off. Is your camera on? Yep. Mm. Yep, we're recording. Wonderful. <coughs> all right, there's the one with all the roses on its head, done in the chameleon powder. Let's see what the ghosties look like. We have an idea for some eyes for these ghosts. We're going to put some eyes on them. I don't know if I... I think I do have my E6000, but I think it's upstairs. I'm trying to remember if I have a tube of it down here. There's the little ghost. We're going to put some little eyes on it. And trying to get it over there where everybody could see it. Here's the other little ghost. I do have a little over pour, so they're going to have to be deburred. Here's the other little ghost. Just there's so much light and they're so shiny. <laughs> it's hard to see. Let's set them back here. Is it hard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one here we was messing with last night and couldn't. We could have probably taken the skulls, the deeper skulls, out last night, but I wanted to wait and do the whole thing instead of just doing part of them. Because we did the whole thing on camera, so I wanted to unmold all of them at the same time. Come on, roll. This one might be a little more difficult to get out than I thought. I have to spray some alcohol down in there. Maybe, maybe not. Grab a hold the end of that. Hold on to it while I try and unroll this. Oh, come on, come loose. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. This one ain't easy to turn back in. All right. Here's this, here's this little guy. <laughs> it looks like here no evil. <laughs> Set it right there. Alright, here we go again. Hopefully this one comes off a little easier than that one did. We'll see. Well, this one is... I think the totem pole, and I think it is. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. 
on this one. Yep, that's exactly what it is. I wish it wasn't so. Now you can you can see it. It just that light so glary. Pull it down just see if you can pull it down the hair. I'll turn this one a little more. There we go. Now you can see what it is. And one more skull. This is like my go to one. I leave it on my table usually. If I have any extra, I just pour it. I think I'm going to have to get me a new mold soon. This one don't. Wow. I never had problems getting this one out. It usually was the easiest one to get out to start rolling it. getting kind of, I think it's getting a little brittle now. I'd have to order me another one. Yep, just ripped it. Well, I've used it so many times that I made so many of these that it it was about that time. It was starting to, starting to get white and brittle. So, yeah. I did rip it. That's okay. I just have to get another one. That's ripped. It's trash. There we go. There's that one. Now, I'm not sure if I have. Let me see if I have some E6000. Because I want to glue those little eyes we picked out on the skeletons, but I'm not sure I have any E6000 down here. I don't know that J. Diction would hold it. Alright, we're going to pause for a minute. I'm going to go get some E6000. All right, I got my E6000, and I bought these little package off of Amazon of uh, little eyeballs, different colors. I don't know if you'll be able to see them through the package. I'll just see if I can get a few in my hand and turn them up where you can see them. I had gotten these because I thought they would look, I mean, you could use them for dragons or any kind of scary thing that you were making. They're little bitty eyeballs in different colors. So we had picked some out and we're going to glue them on the ghost. my E6000 here and I always have such a hard time even though I keep the keep it clean I have such a hard time getting the lid off of this all right let's see what we did here we have the blue ones for something else I think one of the ghosts is gonna get blue eyes one of them's gonna get the other scary eyes. I think this one was the one with the scary eyes. I don't want to put too much on there.
show you as soon as I get the eyes on it what it's going to look like. Alrighty. That's what he looks like. And now we'll put the blue eyes on the other one. I even have some bigger ones. I was thinking about adding some bigger ones to the skulls, making them, but I don't really have any scary ones per se for that. So I'm thinking I won't do that this time. I might do it some other time. Well, thought I got enough, but I didn't. didn't get enough, so we hold the eye on there. Kind of just make it so it's not, it's a little more flat. Okay. See what happens here. As Jeannie said, she wanted blue eyes. Because she has blue eyes. So this little ghost has blue eyes. Isn't he cute? He's just so cute. Now, remember that my... Daisy is the name of my sugar skull, and I'm going to put everybody's names in there, starting out with the ones who sent a name for the sugar skull. Their names are going to go in Daisy the sugar skull, and then they'll all already had some names in there. I don't have that many subscribers yet, so if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and we're going to do some more fun stuff together. But we were keeping with the Halloween theme that we started with simple Halloween earrings, so we were trying to keep with the Halloween theme, so I figured Skulls was a good idea. So, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. We're back. I'm sorry, I forgot to check and see if these were going to glow. So, we're going to put the light on them. And turn some lights out. See if we can get them to glow. Turn that light out there, too. I may have to turn... Out. There's a little button on the cord. Oh, okay. On the cord. Bottom button, it's lit up. Hit it. There you go. I still think it might not be dark enough, but we'll see. I just, I forgot to check them and see if they glowed. They've got those uh, glowstones in them. So they should, and glow powder. So they should glow pretty good. We'll see here in a minute. We'll see how many of them actually glow. Mm. It doesn't look white. It said invisible white, but I think with the gemstones in it's there, maybe they're, uh, they may glow green. I don't know. We'll see. I want to see if the little ghosts, and I did put some in the skulls too, in some of them anyway. So we'll see. Let me hit these with my little light. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, wow. It glows pretty good. <laughs> you can see it glowing.
it's glowing. We could turn the other light out and it'd probably be better. It would probably glow more. Just flip the big light off for now. It might make it a little dark in here, but I think you'll still be able to see. There we go. And now it it is definitely glowing. It's glowing. Looky there. Alright, let's see if these others. I don't know about the skulls. I think I got this ghost pretty much glowing here. The little ghost has those gemstones or glowstones in it also. So I think it's it's glowing. Now let's check one of these skulls because I did put some gemstones in those too. So we're going to see. And they were poured in glow in the dark. I think this one's going to glow too. Let me get you down here. Yep, it's glowing. Yep, got a glowing skull there. I don't know whether these will. Well, maybe. The roses may not glow, but the skull itself might glow. Where it didn't have any chameleon powder. I think this one is going to glow too. Where it didn't have any chameleon powder, it will glow. Yep. It's glowing. I don't know about this one. I had a lot of chameleon powder on it. I colored all of it. But it is going to glow in some spots. Yeah, it is kind of got a glow to it. Probably needs a bigger light to make it glow, but it's glowing. There's the other little ghost, and I can see all those glowstones in the top of its head. So I'm thinking that it's going to glow too. My microphone out of the way here. Yeah, he's glowing. <laughs> that one's got a lot of glowstones in the top of his head. Alright, I just wanted to jump back on because I forgot to show you that they glowed in the dark. Thanks for watching. Bye.